Welcome to a quick and short headline that is once again fulfilling Bible prophecies as they are being fulfilled very, very, very rapidly. God is no respecter of person, as the Bible says. God remembers everything. He is all-powerful, omnipotent, omniscient. He remembers the wickedness of men in this world. But as the Bible also tells us, God is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish, but that even the wicked ones that are doing wickedly right now, so that they might come to repentance. That is the reason why God loves us so much. That is the reason why I should say that God is holding back the full winds of strife to blow upon the earth. What I would like to share with you is really a good news. A good news in the sense that the wicked are starting to see the table being turned against them. I would like to share with you an article that was brought to my attention and also a clip in regard to a criminal company that was one of the criminal companies that was producing the Babylonian venom, the serpent, the poison serpent, or the serpent's poison rather, something happened that as I was dwelling upon it, I was asking myself the question, was that the judgment of God that started to fall upon them? Or was it one of their schemes whereas they destroy something because they have an agenda? No matter what it is, one thing we know for sure, that the wicked, as Daniel says, that will continue to do wickedly, the wise will understand. One thing we know for sure is that the Bible tells us that God will come and execute His judgment upon the wicked. One thing we know for sure is that the Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 11, the latter part there, the last verse, the Bible says that God shall destroy those who destroy the earth. One thing we know for sure is that uh, Jesus came to give us life and to have a life abundantly, but Satan, the wicked one, has been trying to destroy and wipe out humanity as they have tried to do with the Babylonian poison. Now, let me show you this article here. This criminal company facility in North Carolina, heavily damaged by tornado, packing winds, of up to 135 miles per hour. Up to 135 miles per hour. That tornado, one more time, was it uh, the judgment of God? Did it came, come from God? Or was it one of their schemes that they have put together as they have done with so many false crises, false flag crises, is that one of those? I don't know for sure, but one thing I do know is that the judgment of God is in the land. Notice what it goes on to tell us. A tornado heavily damaged a large criminal company pharmaceutical plant in North Carolina on Wednesday, scattering the Babylonian medicines and other debris around the complex. Reports of 50,000 pallets of medicine that are strewn across the facility and damaged through the rain and the wind. And I would say this is good news because that criminal company and that facility alone in North Carolina is responsible for 15% of the Babylonian poison, the drugs, the uh, poison that has been killing many people that facility alone is responsible for at least 15% of what they have been producing. Now, listen to the video and you're going to hear that 
they don't know exactly where this came from. It came out of nowhere. Listen carefully. If we're here on the perimeter of that Pfizer plant where you just mentioned the, the <laughs> catastrophic damage on the inside of this facility, but the cleanup is now underway. Uh, you can see this very large tree that's come down. It's ripped down part of the perimeter fencing here, and you have dozens of Dominion Energy and cleanup crews that are already on scene here now trying to start the cleanup process hours later. This is right across the street from where Josh just gave his update. We were denied entry into the facility by security, so this is about as close as we can get on the grounds right now. But let's go back to that Chopper 11 footage to just see the, the sheer tangle of the debris and the rebar. The roof brought to the ground. It's twisted and turned. And we learned from a Pfizer employee who was inside the facility at the time the man was very shaken up. He didn't want to appear on camera, but he told us that it sounded this tornado like a freight train coming towards him and, and described the scene with his colleagues as he was actually in that warehouse inside the one that's collapsed. You can see from Chopper 11, and they had to make their way very quickly. He said in under 90 seconds to this designated safety area that they have there. He said he believes everyone was, was with made it out safely. But again, just the horrifying descriptions of the damage inflicted by the tornado by someone who, who was inside. Let's go to the other side here. Conversely, we also spoke with another employee who was in a lab, and the labs are on this side of the building. I'm not sure if you can see where we're looking right now, but there are glass windows over here on the front side of the facility. And that employee, to, to just show you, you know, how different things were several hundred yards apart from each other, said that she didn't even hear the tornado. She said she didn't know anything was wrong until the lights flickered and then ultimately went off. It's A miniature picture of what will happen to the wicked unless they turn from their wicked and evil ways. As the next article says, tornado damages that criminal company's plant in North Carolina will likely lead to long-term shortages of medicine. And yes, if it's, uh, well, it doesn't matter which one really, but that is good news. Long-term shortages of the Babylonian medicine. And we say, Thank God for sending warnings, his judgment upon them. Listen to what Spirit of Prophecy tells us here. We are on the verge of the eternal world. The judgment of God are already begun to fall upon the inhabitants of the land. God sends these judgments to bring men and women to their senses. He has a purpose in everything that he permits to take place in our world. And he desires us to be so spiritually minded that we shall be able to perceive his work in the events so unusual in the past, but now of almost daily occurrences. God, one more time, remembers the wickedness of the wicked. He will not allow this madness to continue for too long. But now he is pleading, why should you die? Turn from your evil way. That is the appeal. Let us as Christians, let us continue forward and upward in this work or in this walk with Jesus Christ. The signs of the times are telling us God is ready to send judgment upon the world, upon the wicked, soon and very soon. We are going to see the king soon and very soon. The wicked will be destroyed by the brightness of King Jesus. Let us make sure that we find ourselves always under the arms of Jesus Christ.